Yeah, so um, we have a, um, we have a kind of a philosophy that effective teams, to your word of team, have three key components. First is a shared vision, and I feel pretty responsible for that. Does everyone know where we're at and what we're doing, right? And and that's really important. It is. So we try to articulate that in very simple terms, so everyone in the company can say, "Hey." You know, our new, you know, we have been successful doing these things and our new effort is to, for instance, build out our dealer business because dealers are an amazing place for consumers to get their car fixed, but there's a lot of gaps in the journey. Of there is. Trust. Um, so the shared vision is something that's, that's key for me. Then to your point, uh, uh, we have what I call swim lanes, which are roles and responsibilities. So each person knows what their part of it is. Right. So very Charity, important. Charity knows she runs marketing. And to that point, yeah, I don't know everything. She's the best at it. That's right. Right. I'll tell you, I, I, I gotta tell you. Makes sense. Um, I would not, or our company would not be where it's at today if not for her. Uh, um, she is a um uh we uh, as a matter of fact, uh, maybe off camera she might say something different to you personal. I doubt it because I like to know how she thinks and how people are. But we empower her to let her do just about whatever she wants to do and uh, the way that she thinks it needs to be done. And it's yielded results that have exceeded any expectations that I could have. See, so, that, so that's awesome. And so there is a third. So at first is a shared vision, which I feel the team does collectively, but I feel responsible. It's, it's not my vision. It's our vision. Thank you. Yeah. Right. But Absolutely. I feel responsible to make sure that's well articulated and clear for everyone in the company, right? That I do mm -hmm. feel that that ownership. Yes, Roles sir. and responsibilities are the team to because you know charity knows when she's kind of doing it or someone else is doing it and what, what the edge is. And so everyone has to work that out together. That's a collective responsibility. Now, the third part of, of an effective team is what I call healthy conflict. It's not rocket science, but what it is is we're all in, that's why I use this word swim lanes. We're all in the same pool, uh -huh. right? The pool of WTF or the pool of repair bow. That's right. And how, when you see something outside your swim lane, you're not comfortable with, how do you respond? And our view of healthy conflict is that the person who sees it has it not just an opportunity, but actually an obligation to say, hey, I, I think you're not doing that right. Which sometimes creates conflict that people often avoid but if you avoid that conflict, then it's like, well, they're just that way and we're this way. And all of a sudden these silos occur in an organization. So what you need to do is actually embrace healthy conflict, put issues on the table, make sure you understand the other person's point of view, they understand yours, and then you know, solve it. And I'm happy to get involved in that. 